our next patient's day was turned upside down when they had an unusual accident. Well, let's meet them. Waiting to be seen by the doctor is 10-year-old Isla with her mum. I hurt my wrist here and it's really sore. She's doing a great job of elevating her hand with that hoodie. I wonder where she got that from. I was watching a few episodes of Operation Out and I saw it, so I tried it and it worked. Excellent work! You could be a doctor at this rate, but how did it happen? Isla was on holiday with her family in Sherwood Forest. Ooh, home of Robin Hood! That's right, Zand. I can picture it now. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Actually, Zand, Isla was playing hide-and-seek. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his band of men. No, Zand, she was with her friends, and there were no horses. She was at a leisure centre in the forest, when all of a sudden, she jumped onto a stool and fell off. <laughs> oh. And look, she's landed on her wrist. Ouch! It's straight down to X-ray for Isla to get some pics of that jarred joint. OK, Isla, all finished. <laughs> With the X-rays out of the way, here to look at her hurt hand is Dr Daniel Murray. Let's have a look. Let's roll that sleeve right up, OK? Dr Daniel checks to see where Isla is most sore. Did you win at hide and seek? No. No. Well, that adds insult to injury. Make a fist for me, tight as you can. It really hurts down there. Hurts down there. OK, and straighten it out. Is that hurting a wee bit? Very good. OK, and understand you've been around for an X-ray? Yeah. Well, we'll get your X-ray and I'll pop back and have a chat with you and Mum, OK? OK. All right? So what's the diagnosis, Doc? Just round about here is where she was tender and that looks completely normal, OK? You look down there to see if there's any sort of steps or breaks in the bone and I can't see anything obvious there. OK, so to me it looks like a, a normal, normal X-ray, so she's most likely just sprained her wrist when she's, when she's fallen on it. There are 13 bones in your wrist. Between these bones are ligaments. They're like strong elastic bands which connect bones to one another. When too much pressure is put on a part of your body, like falling on your wrist, these ligaments can get stretched, twisted or torn. It's called a sprain, and this is what happened to Isla. She's giving it some rest, OK, and regular painkillers. Do you do sports at school? Yeah, we do PE. We do PE, OK. I'd probably give that a miss for the week, OK? just to give it a chance to rest, all right? Isla doesn't look overly happy about that, Zand. I'm sad I'm not allowed to do dancing and um, sports. And have we learnt any lessons from this? Don't jump on a chair. <laughs> we'll bear that in mind. Bye, Bye Isla! <laughs> Our next patient ended up in the emergency department after watching rugby. It's been a bit of a trying day. Zand. This is eight-year-old Gracie in the emergency department with her mum. Why are you here, Gracie? They fell and slammed my foot. Anything else? I was wearing a Chewbacca onesie. A Chewbacca onesie? We need to see this. Gracie was watching a rugby match at her local club with her mum and dad. No selfies. It was a chilly afternoon, so she was wrapped up warm in her bunny slippers and her Chewbacca onesie. So cool, Gracie. The under 20s international, Wales versus Ireland. You couldn't take your eyes off the action in that drama. Well, apart from the fact that poor Gracie couldn't see a thing. So she climbed up onto the seat for a better view. But it flipped up, trapping Gracie, and her foot slammed into the floor. Ouch! A Chewbacca onesie is amazing. Thank you. Is me borrowing it totally out of the question? Yes, of course. But Gracie needs a Jedi Knight in shining armour. We'll settle for Dr Joe Howard. Dr Joe takes extra special care because Gracie was born with a foot condition called talipase, which means the movement in her ankles and toes is limited. Oh, that's, that. that's where it hurts, OK. I think it's probably worth us getting an X-ray of that foot. I like X-rays. You like it? <laughs> Who doesn't love an X-ray? With the X-ray. Behind you, it is. What are you doing, Zand? I'm being Yoda, obviously. Runny socks on, let's shoe off for me. Shoes and socks removed, you must. Oh, dear. Get ready for your close-up, Crazy. <laughs> the X-ray results we know not. Enough with the Yoda impression, Zand. Bring the dock in. No breaks. Yay! We don't need to do anything. Just the usual painkillers if it's sore. Take it easy. Any message for that pesky seat, Gracie? You told it. Bye, Gracie. See you soon. 
In the emergency department, there's another patient that needs a helping hand. Well, come on, let's see what's wrong with them. Over in the emergency department, nine-year-old Emmanuel is waiting with his dad. What's with the sling, Emmanuel? My thumb's been bent back and it's swollen. How did it happen? It was lunchtime at Emmanuel's school and he was out playing football with loads of his mates. Oh, look, there he is. What position does he play? He's in the goal, Chris, so I'd say he's the goalie. Got ya. Wow, he's got his eye on the ball. Look at him go. But then one of the strikers came out of nowhere, got through on goal and struck the ball. Emmanuel stretched to make the save. Go, Emmanuel. You can do it. Whoa! We well, did it all right, but the ball bounced off his thumb and bent it right back. Ouch! How's it feeling now? Really painful. Uh-oh. Doctor! Here he is, Dr Abdulaziz. How back do you think it went? Really back. Really back. First, the doc checks Emmanuel's hand. Because it's really swollen, they're going to do an X-ray. You just want to make sure you've not done anything to the bone here. Radiographer Andrew Strong takes two X-rays from different angles of Emmanuel's thumb. Hey, that's bro. What's the news then, Doc? Everything looks OK Hi. to me. Well, that's great news. So you've just stretched the tissues inside, and that's what's causing the pain. What we'll do is we'll put a bandage on the thumb to help with the pain relief. Nurse Becky Saunders bandages up Emmanuel's thumb. When will it be back to normal, Doc? Anything between two to four weeks. So no goalie action for a while, then? Still want to be a goalkeeper? Yeah. OK. Good on you, Emmanuel. Bye. 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 Let's head back to the emergency department. It's time for the next patient. Well, come on, Chris. What are you waiting for? Over in the emergency department, 11-year-old Lily and her mum are looking rather, uh, happy. What's happened, Lily? I fell on my hand and it really, really hurts now. It is a bit of a mystery, to be honest. A mystery? Well, panic not, Lily. Inspector Zahn's on the case. It all began two weeks ago. Meet suspect A, the bed. Lily woke up in her bedroom and managed to tumble straight off the side, landing on her wrist. Ouch! Shush, Chris, this isn't over yet. Righty-ho. 14 days later, enter suspect B, the dance class. I knew it. Lily was doing a handstand at school when her wrist buckled underneath her and she fell over. Double ouch. Yeah, very clumsy, aren't you? <laughs> I fell over a lot. Mystery solved. Lily's accident prone. Let's get Dr. Suhail Habib to check out her wrist. That hurts. It hurts in here. So there is a bit of bruise there. Uh, there's mild swelling. The only way we can find out whether it's fractured or not is to get an X-ray. I've had them before. Oh, you had them before? Yeah, I've had one of them two fingers and one of them two fingers. Crikey, Lily. Have you broken anywhere else? My toe. I see. And then I ended up putting a pork chop on it as well. Pork chop? We didn't have no ice we or no have. peas, so we used a pork chop. Yeah, that were a good one, weren't it? That was a really good one. There are 29 bones to check in the X-ray. Two big bones in your lower arm, the radius and the ulna. Eight bones in your wrist, called the carpals. Five metacarpals in the back of your hand. And 14 phalanges bones in your fingers. I'll get you back to see the doctor. I've got my phalanges crossed that nothing's broken. What do you reckon, Lily? Broken. Mum? I think it's not broken. Mum has one. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not broken, which is good news, yeah. But that doesn't mean that there's no injury, so you have got some injury to the soft tissue. To heal the soft tissue around her bone, Lily needs to rest and use a cold compress to reduce the swelling. Looks like you need another pork chop, Lily. But don't forget to wrap it in a tea towel. Bye! In the emergency department, eight-year-old Chris is waiting with his mum and dad. What's happened, fella? My leg started hurting. Oh, dear. Let's find out more. It was a beautiful sunny day, and Chris was in the playground playing tag. He was playing with bags. He was playing tag, Zand. Oh, right, flags. Zand, he was playing tag. Stags! Right, got it. But that does sound dangerous. No, Zand, he was with his friends playing tag. OK, keep your hair on. Righto, 
Chris was playing tag. Yes! He was running really fast when all of a sudden his knee twinged with pain and he had to stop. Ouch! It hurts right there, under the knee cap. Well, Chris, we'd better get that leg seen pronto. Here's Dr Sarah Edwards to check out that painful pin. Anywhere else hurting at all? No. So it's just your knee? Yeah. Fantastic. Can you bend it for me? Kneesy does it, Doc. And can you straighten it for me? It pins. It hurts. And it's hurting just at the back here? Yeah. We'll get an X-ray of that knee area just yeah. to have a look, right? Chris hops off to X-ray, where radiographer Catherine Barnett checks for breaks in that knee. Keep that one nice and straight, that's it. Done. Oh, good old Dad's on hand to carry Chris. Thanks, Dad. What's the verdict, Doc? Looking at the X-ray, there's no obvious breaks or anything that we can see. It does look very swollen, that knee, though. As the joint is inflamed, Chris will have to take painkillers. Bye-bye. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Have you got any advice for when I next play tag, Chris? Be the careful and don't run that fast. Sounds good. See ya, fella. Bye. <laughs> An ambulance has brought in 11-year-old Joel. What have you done? Um, they think I might have sprained my leg. That doesn't sound good. But who's this? Oh, this is my twin sister, Hannah. Twins? Like us, Chris. I'm oldest. I'm the eldest too, Hannah, and the best. I don't think so, Sand. But anyway, what happened to Joel? Joel was bouncing on a trampoline at a busy indoor trampoline park. Cool. He was imagining jumping higher than Hannah. That's what I'd be doing too, Chris. Yes, but I'm going higher. Oh, no, I'm going higher, Chris. But I'm the best. No, I'm the best. But anyway, this isn't about us. Joel bounced really high. And when he landed, he bounced off the edge and his foot got stuck between the trampoline and the padding, twisting his leg. Ouch! Jumping in to look at that leg is Dr Jane Dawson. I just had that so underneath here. Um, little bit. Does it hurt anywhere else on your leg at all? When you press around here... Joel goes to radiography for an X-ray. Oh, really still there? OK, we're all finished with you. And Dr Jane checks the results. I can't see any abnormalities on the X-ray, although sometimes X-rays aren't 100%, so if we treat the injury as if it were um, a fracture. Time to deliver the verdict. I can't see any breaks. However, because you're still in quite a lot of discomfort, we'll book you in to see the orthopaedic doctors and make a decision as to whether they need to do further investigations. So Joel's going to bounce back to hospital tomorrow to see the bone specialist. In the meantime, that pin has to be put in plaster to support the leg and keep Joel comfortable. Find out later how Joel gets on. <coughs> Chris, how's Joel's leg? I don't know, Zand. What? What are you waiting for? Let's find out! OK, let's find out. Come on. Absolutely. Find out. Earlier in the emergency department, Joel came in with an injured leg. That's all underneath here. Little bit. Joel was busy bouncing at an indoor trampoline park. When he jumped off, his foot got stuck between the trampoline and the padding, and he twisted his leg. Ouch! X-rays showed Joel hasn't got any fractures, but Dr Jane was concerned about the amount of pain he was in. So he's come back to see an orthopaedic specialist. Joel's been making the most of being laid up, getting twin sister Hannah to run around after him. He keeps getting me to get school books and water and stuff. I know, Hannah. Chris is always Son. making... This isn't about you. Here's Dr. Wenketa Wakamalu. Can you bring your feet up? Oh, painful. After looking at his leg, Dr. Wenketa examines Joel's x-rays. OK, there is, there is no fracture. That's good news. But he has noticed significant swelling near Joel's ankle. So I think usually this happens when you sprain your ligaments. This will have been the source of Joel's pain. What the best way for this is to give you a full cast for two weeks. Uh, then you'll feel much better. So not great news, but there is an upside. Tell him more about the cast, Doc. You can choose your favourite colour. Ooh, bonus. 
So Joel and family head down to the plaster room. Are you sure you don't want pink, Joel? Naomi said she'll give you five pounds if you have pink. I'm sure. Hang on, what's wrong with pink? It's a great colour. But what are you going to choose, Joel? Uh, please, can I just have... Just the plain blue, it's absolutely fine. That's my favourite colour, too. Are you sure you don't want sparkles? No. Are you sure? Yeah. And with this blue cast all set, the family head home. But what does Hannah think about it all? I think he should have got sparkles, yeah. The eldest always knows best. Bye. Bye! Bye.